Welcome to ATP's KLN 94 GPS approach. This video demonstrates the GPS approach using the KLN 94 GPS and proper ATP standardized procedures. As soon as possible after completion of the cruise checklist, get the ATIS at your destination airport. It will allow you to determine which approach you will be flying at the destination airport. Cecil Airport, ATIS Information Delta, time 1855 Zulu, wind 3508. Visibility 6 miles, ceiling broken 900, temperature 22, dew point 19, altimeter 29 or 9 or 5. Arrivals expect RNAV GPS runway 36 right, advise you have information delta. Complete the in-range descent checklist as soon as ATIS is received. ATIS check, altimeter set, preliminary approach brief. Plan on an RNAV GPS approach to runway 36 right, 12,500 feet of runway, medium intensity approach lighting system. Field elevation of 80 feet. Sector altitude of 2,100 feet within 30 nautical miles of Cora. Highest obstacle at 200 feet just prior to missed approach point. Additional terrain on the missed approach segment. Nav mode selector switch will be in GPS mode. Final approach course of 005 degrees with LNAV MDA of 460 feet and one statute mile. Mist will be flown in GPS mode. Slight left crosswind. Preliminary approach brief complete. Airport diagram check. Seatbelts fastened. Mixture, slightly enriching. In range descent checklist complete. When an approach is expected or a clearance is given, November 753 Golf Whiskey expect the RNAV GPS runway 36 right, proceed direct core when able. The pilot loads the approach into the KLN 94. Press procedure. Choose select approach. Select destination airport. Press enter. Select Approach and Initial Approach Fix from the Airport 8 page, in this case, Cora. Always load an approach from an Initial Approach Fix if you are not already assigned vectors. You can always activate vectors to final later. Verify that the approach in the GPS database matches your approach plate by using the outer knob to scroll through the fixes. Once verified, highlight Add to Flight Plan 0. Press Enter. Press the Message button. You must input the correct altimeter setting using the Out button. Once adjusted, press Out twice more. Activate direct to the initial fix if necessary. The GPS defaults to Nav 1. Twist the inner knob counterclockwise once to get to the NAV4 map page. NAV mode selector switch must be in the GPS position. Twist the NAV1 OBS knob to align with your desired track. In this case, our NAV1 OBS should match the GPS DTK 208. Within 30 nautical miles of the airport, the approach arm or terminal flag should appear on the right column of the GPS. This always indicates an increased sensitivity of the CDI from 5 nautical miles to 1 nautical mile. Cora indicates no PT, meaning you do not have to complete the procedure turn at ROGSI. The GPS should remain in leg mode, which is indicated in the right column of the map page for all vectored approaches and all no PT routes, including DME arcs. GPS approaches with a course reversal or procedure turn will be addressed later. Approximately 20 nautical miles from your initial approach fix or the airport if on vectors, complete your remaining pre-approach checklist items. Complete a thorough approach briefing by reviewing the approach plate, including a briefing of the missed approach. This is the RNAV GPS approach to runway 36 right at Cecil Field, valid through November 15 of 2012. Final approach course is 005, 12,500 feet of runway, Field elevation 80 feet, touchdown zone 70 feet, sector altitude 2,100 feet until Cora, direct track of 275 and minimum altitude of 2,000 from Cora to Rogsy, minimum altitude of 1,800 from Rogsy to Rodi, 740 from Rodi to Ojek, which is 2 nautical miles from the missed approach point, and LNAV MDA of 460 until the missed approach point. Look for a Malser. Upon the mist, Climb to 2000 Drekmaga and left turn on track 248 to Zormi and hold. Teardrop entry with an inbound course of 09 or 4, 4 nautical mile legs. Complete the approach checklist. ATIS check. 
Approach briefing complete. Altimeter set. Heading indicator to compass set. Fuel selector both. Parking brake check released. Landing light on. Flight and nav instruments set. GPS set. Airspeed 100 knots. Approach checklist complete. November 753 Golf Whiskey maintained 3000 until Cora cleared RNAV GPS 36 right Cecil Field. Approaching Cora, the waypoint begins to flash on the GPS. Prepare to initiate a turn to your next desired course. In this case, we will make a right turn to a DTK of 275 to Roxy. The M icon flashes, indicating the need to twist in a new course on the CDI. Set NAV1 to a DTK of 276. Initiate the turn and twist in the course on NAV1. The minimum altitude between Cora and Roxy is 2,000 feet. Initiate a descent to 2,000 feet. Approaching Roxy, the waypoint begins to flash on the GPS. Prepare to initiate a turn to your next desired course. Make a right turn to a DTK of 005 to the final approach fix, Rody. The M icon flashes, indicating the need to twist in a new course on the CDI. Set NAV1 to a DTK of 006. Initiate the turn to the final approach course. Slow to 90 knots, intercepting the final approach course inbound. The minimum altitude between Roxy and Rody is 1,800 feet. Initiate a descent to 1,800 feet. Two nautical miles prior to the final approach fix, complete the before landing checklist. Before landing checklist, fuel selector, both, mixture, forward. Before landing checklist complete. Set flaps to 10 degrees, slow to 80 knots. Verify that the green approach active or approach flag appears on the GPS. This signifies an increased sensitivity of the CDI from 1 nautical miles to 0.3 nautical miles. If no flag appears, do not descend past the final approach fix. You must be level at 80 knots prior to reaching the final approach fix. The waypoint on the GPS flashes, indicating that you are preparing to pass the final approach fix. At the final approach fix, begin a descent at 400 to 500 feet per minute at 80 knots. Minimum altitude at OJEC is 740 feet. Carefully monitor DME to comply with the step-down fix. The MDA for this approach is 460 feet. 100 feet prior to MDA, announce. 100 to go. 50 feet prior to MDA, increase power to maintain 80 knots at level off. At MDA, announce. Minimums. Maintain MDA plus 50 feet, minus 0 feet. Runway in sight. Descend at predetermined VDP or maintain MDA to missed approach point. Do not leave MDA until landing is assured. When descending from MDA, flaps 20, 70 knots. On short final, slow to 65 knots until 10 to 20 feet above the runway. If no runway in sight or if unable to safely descend from MDA and land, complete a missed approach. Watch the next video in the series, KLN 94 GPS Missed Approach.